In other news tonight, it was earlier this afternoon, the final three members of a white nationalist group appeared in Kootenai County Court for arraignment. This comes more than two months after 31 members of the Patriot Front were found in the back of a U-Haul and arrested for a conspiracy to riot at a Coeur d'Alene Pride event. So far, all of those men have pleaded not guilty. The first two trials in this case are expected to begin on September 19th. And among those in court today was founder and leader of the Patriot Front, Thomas Rousseau. He's from Texas. Texas, and according to the Southern Poverty Law Center and the Anti-Defamation League, he is a known white supremacist. So we dug a little deeper today. Here's what we found. Two of the nation's top anti-discrimination and racial justice organizations say Thomas Rousseau grew up outside of Dallas, Texas, and began showing signs of white nationalist beliefs as a young teenager. In fact, this article in the Texas Observer newspaper says the FBI has been monitoring Rousseau since he was still a student in high school, where he often wrote opinion pieces in support of conservative topics. But it was shortly after he graduated that Rousseau emerged as a leader inside another white nationalist organization, Vanguard America. That hate group came into the national spotlight in 2017 after tragedy at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. One woman was killed after a man drove his car into a crowd of counter-protesters. And in the aftermath of Charlottesville, the Southern Poverty Law Center says Vanguard America dissolved into chaos and Rousseau announced his new organization, Patriot Front. Since then, Patriot Front members have protested outside of numerous events, including anti-abortion rallies, Jewish synagogues, Black Lives Matter protests, and LGBTQ pride events. Members often chant the slogan, Blood and Soil, which the Anti-Defamation League says originated in Nazi Germany, equating white European identity with the right to inherit American soil. Since its creation in 2017, Patriot Front activity has now expanded into dozens of states. And you can read our continuing coverage on this case here out of Coeur d'Alene by just going to our website, crem.com.